What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about a few different horror topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Chucky Season 3. We'll be talking about The Black Phone. We'll be talking about Friday the 13th and Terrifier 3, all related to the director of Terrifier, Damien Leone. So starting off with Chucky Season 3, Don Mancini gave us some clarity on what exactly has and hasn't been filmed regarding Chucky Season 3. He revealed this during an interview with Collider and explained what caused the season to be split into two as we know it has been but i think most of us know what caused it he said it's a necessary experiment born of the strike we were shooting right up until the point sag after shut everything down knowing that it was coming which really we didn't know for sure until i think it was just like 10 days before when it was really looking like it was going that way universal basically told us look chucky has such a presence for nbc this fall because of the mazes at the parks and all that so they really wanted something to air during halloween season so once we saw that the strike was coming we sort of like pull all of our resources and time into finishing the first four we really have almost finished five and six as well, but we like literally just like a day we but we like literally just like a day left to finish five and six and then a few more weeks to do seven and eight. But we do have pieces of seven and eight already shot as well. So that explains where the promo package from last week came from because I see was I was actually shocked when people started telling me that a promo package for part two of season three was aired which does look great i was just shocked i was like what they told us they only filmed four episodes so that kind of clears up that i hope they can have this out in january or sometime in quarter one of next year depending on how of course the strikes all get resolved which it looks like we're nearing a deal fingers crossed it looks like we're nearing a deal uh it, it could have already happened by the time this is this is on the uh channel which will be sunday but it probably will not have also happened always a possibility but that's the rumbling that a, that a deal is near jumping into the black phone so the black phone is ringing again universal and blumhouse have announced a sequel to the 2022 horror film the black phone set for june 27 2025 the company says the black phone 2 is the launch of a sinister new franchise now variety reported this on friday but what's the story going to be and is scott derrickson returning is ethan hawk returning all of those questions will be answered soon but naturally the safest bet is prequel films that tell standalone stories about the grabber prior to his demise at the hands of finney perhaps we can get a series of movies that that go a little deeper into the supernatural element we know that was on display in the first movie uh but also if they give us prequel movies perhaps we can get a series of movies that just end on a very depressing note and show us the grabber winning killing these kids unfortunately and when we revisit this franchise it just leads up to a much more satisfying moment with this character when finney finally breaks his streak if that's the direction they decide to take this quote-unquote series they want to launch in uh a ghost concept is a possibility too for being quite honest but i'd rather just see prequel films focused on that one individual the grabber diving into him what he is or who he is not necessarily going into too much of his childhood but just letting us see some more of that deranged behavior the film may not ne may not be necessary of course but the business model says it is and we're going to get ones whether you like it or not what do you guys want to see in the black phone too and do you enjoy the first one or could you not care less about the grabber and anything that he wants to grab <laughs> diving into these last two topics here with terrifier 3 and friday the 13th so damien leone has stated that he would like to take a stab at remaking or reviving friday the 13th he stated this during an interview with slash film he said that i've been on record he says, I've been on record for quite some time now saying that if I could ever remake one slasher film, it would be Friday the 13th. Jason was always my favorite slasher since I was a little kid. And I think there's a way to, I mean, my approach would be to keep it in the 80s. Honestly, I would have it take place in the early 80s. I would try and make him as scary as possible because I feel like that's something they kind of lost as the movies went along. You just start getting too comfortable with these villains and you need to be scared of them again. Believe it or not, I've gotten to talk to some people who are execs who are in charge of that franchise. I think I'm still a little too obscure on that Hollywood list of people that they would approach to direct that film. I don't necessarily think one way or the other about his comments, honestly. 
but he clearly can't deliver a good slasher film like he like we saw him do with Terrifier 2. Also, he's very much so right about wanting to go in a direction that constantly has Jason in a terrifying role. That's not to say that I completely agree that Jason wasn't terrifying as the series progressed, but I get where he's coming from when he says you got a little comfortable with him and the mystique of it all kind of was going out the window. Not completely, but definitely there was a little bit of comfort with Jason. Hell, some people are online, they actually love Jason to the point where they want to date Jason, which if that's what you like, that's what you like, that's fine, I guess. But speaking of Terrifier, talking about Terrifier 3 really quick, Terrifier 3 is actually gonna be a Christmas movie. Now, this poster leaked online and will actually be able to see an exclusive look at the film's teaser on Wednesday during a Terrifier 2 re-release in theaters this November 1st, but the poster leaked online, bloody disgusting, a lot of other reputable outlets came out backing it up that this is gonna be a Christmas movie. Now, I will say that somebody did reach out to me saying that they had something to share with me regarding Terrifier 3, but they never told me what it was. So I'm like, is this what it was? Cause I need to go back to that source to find out if that's what they were talking about. But you have an opportunity to check out the Terrifier 3 teaser or first trailer, first look at it in theaters this week when Terrifier 2 is re-released into theaters. Uh, again, the poster leaked online showing us that it's gonna be a Christmas based movie. Lots of opportunity there to have some Christmas bloodshed. Damien Leone said this about the teaser as well. He said, for those of you speculating that the Terrifier 3 teaser is just gonna be some 20 second gimmick, I assure you it's a legit teaser trailer. It's over two minutes long and you're gonna fucking love it. Exclusively in theaters November 1st. So it's over two minutes long. You know the runtime of the teaser. And I know this has kind of been out there for some time, but since there was this big Terrifier 3 update that came out this past week, I also want to talk about the first look at the film that you do again have a chance to see this week in theaters during Terrifier 2's re-release. I do think that Damien Leone could deliver a successful solid entry into the Friday the 13th franchise. Probably one of the more brutal entries if we're being quite honest. Again just going off of what we've seen from these two Terrifier movies. And I can respect where he's coming from when he's saying he wants to preserve Jason as a horrifying villain because as the films progress I get where he's coming from with the fact that we did get comfortable with that slasher icon but you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description I'll have links to my social media accounts I'm on Facebook Twitter and Instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys I will see you in the next video